you know, Karen and I struggled with unexplained infertility for five years. And we went through all the testing and it, all the heartbreak that families go through. And we made the decision uh, to put our name in for adoption. And, and I'll never forget the day we got the phone call. Just a month after Karen learned that she was pregnant after five years, we got a phone call that a young woman had looked at our profile and, and chosen us for her baby. And I must tell you, Kristen, it was, we, we'd already crossed over the threshold of believing, as I do to this day, that you, whether the children are born to you or you adopt them, you can have forever families. And we'd already made that decision. But as we prayed about it, we had one question for the attorney we were working with, and that is, is the runner-up family clinically infertile? Are they unable to have children? Because we had now learned that we were able to have children. And when he came back to us and said, yes, they, they can't have children, we stepped aside because we didn't want to stand in the way of God blessing that family with a child. And but So our family had gone through that decision, and it was then that I learned that there was roughly the same number of families experiencing infertility in this country every year as there were abortions. It's one of the reasons I've said for, for decades that there's no such thing as an unwanted child in America. There's a family out there that wants mm -hmm. that baby and is prepared to raise that child. But a barrier in the law, the complexity of adoption that we have today, uh, I, 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 I think is an issue that ought to be addressed in every state in the country, and to the extent that our federal partners can be a part of helping with that. We, we ought to make adoption affordable, accessible, uh, and easy so that, that when a woman finds herself in a crisis pregnancy, uh, when a family finds themselves unable to start a family, that those two things can come together for a victory for life. Beautiful. And amen. I think every... You know, every member of the Pro-Life Generation can agree with that.